It is good to see you again, and I do see you in my own way. You're a wound in time, a tear in reality that shouldn't exist and cannot long endure. Fate speaks in riddles. Your fate was written in the scrolls long ago. It is entwined with the fate of the five companions. I have finally located Lyris Titanborn in Cold Harbor. She works a terrible forge under the lash of the great deceiver, Molog Baal. Her soul is in great danger. You must go to her. I can manifest a gate to that dark realm, but you must go quickly. Tread carefully in Molog Baal's realm. You are important. The scrolls have so named you. After Lyris took my place in the Wailing Prison so that we might escape, the Daedra moved her to the Foundry of Woe. It is a place of torment and despair. She toils endlessly making weapons for the enemy. The God of Schemes invaded my mind many times during my imprisonment. It was a tortuous experience, but by forcing his way into my mind, he inadvertently opened his own thoughts to me, and thus created a chink in his own armor. We are connected, he and I. With concentration, I can see through his eyes. He feels my presence, and it fills him with rage. When you enter the foundry to recover Lyris, I can keep his attention focused on me. He will be blind to you for a time. It will be a far greater danger for you to enter Cold Harbor without this distraction. It is Molog Baal's realm, and his power there is great. I will endeavor to distract him in this manner whenever you travel there. You're alive. Are you really here, or is this another trick? And he's still alive. Thank the gods. But you... You can't stay. You have to leave before they find you here. You don't understand. They've... done something to me. I can't leave. It's hard to describe. My memories, my feelings, they've... Been fragmented, ripped apart, and all the fragmented pieces have been locked away in different parts of the foundry. I tried. The Daedra took everything my willpower, my courage, my sense of self. I'm an empty shell. And the fragments are reflections of my worst fears and most painful memories. I, I can't. I, I don't think I can face them. I'll do my best. Lead on.
These lost souls are barely aware of their humanity. The cards don't even beat them anymore. You that work, slave. home in Skyrim. My parents' graves. My mother died in childbirth. My father was distant. Cold. I think he blamed me for my mother's death. I ran off to become a mercenary when I was 16. I never saw my father again. He was murdered by an old enemy. Father? Papa? Is that you? You bastard! Die like the monster you are! Your mind and soul are already ours! Abandon your pathetic rescue! Who are you? Why does Lyris walk with you? In life, I was Gyalda, father to Lyris. My spirit was torn from its rest and brought to this foul place. The Daedra forced me to experience my own murder again and again. I thought my torment would never end. I don't understand. Lyris was always a free spirit. Why would my presence bind her here? Lyris, is this true, child? You were always so cold. So distant. My mother died giving me life. It was my fault. I should never have been born. Lyris, look at me. The blood of giants flows through my veins. Your mother was a naught. I gave her my seed without thought for her safety. That's why she died. Not because of you, child. Because of me. I thought you blamed me. You couldn't even look at me, Papa. Do you not see? When I looked at you, I saw her face. I loved her, child, just as I love you, more than life itself. We cannot change the past, nor should we cling to it. You must not let these feelings haunt you. Let them go. Let me go. I love you too, Papa. Rest now. Be at peace. He's gone. Come on. Let's get out of here. This place is a labyrinth of hopelessness built to compound the misery of those who labor here. Pieces. Yeah, I stashed them in the footlockers all around camp. I bet the commander makes her run 50 laps this time. 50? Let's hope the beast gets a lashing. All right, let's get back to it. Act natural.
you find something? I can't believe it. This armor is who I am. It's what I am. A warrior without her armor is like a bear without claws. Did you find something? I can't believe it. This armor is who I am. It's what I am. A warrior without her armor is like a bear without claws. Excellent. I'm ready.
What's your step? All the mining has made these tunnels unstable. Abner Tharn, you traitorous bastard. I should have expected to find you here. Don't be a fool, Titanborn. I'm trying to help you. Your hatred poisons you. Warriors are like steel. When you lose your temper, you lose your worth. Help me. You betrayed us all, then went back to licking Money Marco's boot before the smoke cleared. I did what I had to do. And as a show of my good intentions, I have a gift for you. But be warned, Cold Harbor will not give it up easily. Is that... Sure, Spones, it is. Vestige, that's my battle axe. Thirsty for Daedric blood, old friend. <sighs> My axe. Ah, oh, it feels good to have it back. It's part of me. Losing it was like losing an arm. I don't know. I don't trust him and I never will. But it's odd. The blind hatred I felt when I saw him. <laughs> I could have strangled him with my bare hands. But now... I think he was right. That hatred was poisoning me. Better. Stronger. Almost whole again. Isn't that strange? I feel powerful enough to take on Umaril the Unfeathered himself. I feel... like a warrior again. We're not done yet. We need to keep moving forward. The passage is blocked by a rock slide. But now that I have my axe back, I might be able to break through it. Stand back. No damn pile of pebbles is gonna stop me now. Many daedric beasties, so little time. We need to keep moving.
you hear that? It sounded like... It couldn't be. Some kind of vision of you. Do you know where you are? I... I don't know. They're torturing me. They want, want the Amulet of Kings. Want me to tell them where it's hidden. But I haven't broken. Not yet. Sai, you need to hold on. We're going to find you. I'll make sure of it. We'll find you. Somehow we'll get you out of there. Sai? Sai! No! Bring him back, you bastards! That was no trick. That was Sai Sahan. Sai's a friend. Maybe my best friend. We need to find him and get him out of there. We need to tell the Prophet about this. He'll know what to do. But first, we need to find a way out of here. I don't care what else they throw at us. Nothing is going to keep me from helping Sai. Thank <laughs> you. 
it was like watching myself from a distance. Disconnected. But now, <laughs> this is the best I've felt in years. Like I've been reborn. And I owe it all to you. Thank you. Let's get out of here. We need to rescue Sai. Then we've got a world to save. Nearest Chan. Are you all right? Yes, Prophet, I'm fine. The vestige freed my mind from the dangerous control. Thank the divines. Your loss would have thrown all into chaos. They won't take me again. Not alive, at least. Prophet, Menomarco captured Sai Sahan. He's torturing him to find out where the Amulet of Kings is hidden. We have to rescue him. You brought Lyris back. And largely intact from the look of her. And she will need time to recover. One does not leave such a place unscarred. Did he? I thought he had firmly aligned himself with Minamarco and his worm cult. Curiouser and curiouser. What did he say? Did Sai tell you where he is being held? Then we must locate him before Menimarco forces him to reveal the amulet's hiding place. As you saw in my visions, the amulet's misuse ripped a hole in the barrier that protects Tamriel from the forces of oblivion. That damage must be undone, and the amulet is the key. But to find the amulet, we must first locate Sai Sahan. For now you must leave me to my meditation. I must set my mind to the task of locating Sai Sahan. Until then, embrace the unknowable. The drops of water cannot know themselves to be a river, yet the river flows on. Perhaps it was simply arrogance. Perhaps it was all part of his grand scheme. Who can know the logic of a Daedric prince? I will call upon you again when the time is right. Farewell, Vistage.